See it? Your spot's over here. It's not about you. <laughs> oh God. Hello everyone, what is up? It's Brooke Tomer here and today I'm going through the personality traits of a Border Collie, both the pros and cons, and to help you decide whether this is the right breed of dog for you. So let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Brooke. These are my two dogs. This is Cedar the Border Collie and Sprinkle the Italian Greyhound. Today it's not about Sprinkle, even though she always wants it to be. Today is about Cedar. <laughs> A personality trait of Border Collie that I would put in the con category is actually that they're um, naturally quite anxious. A lot of people wouldn't expect that from a Border Collie if you haven't owned one before, but they can be prone to quite anxious behaviour. Barking, nipping, aggressive behaviour, just because they are scared. I mean, I, Spring, it's just not about you today. How about we do a Sprinkle video next time? I know, it's your video and she's ruining it. Uh, look, I've just got to hold Sprinkle, so she's happy. Even though this video is about Border Collies, Sprinkle needs to be included. And yeah, naturally anxious behavior. So Cedar, I socialized Cedar a lot as a puppy and I made sure that I was very aware of getting her socialized correctly so that she wasn't anxious of children, places, sounds, things that move, things that don't move. So naturally anxious behavior for a Border Collie can be quite common and can lead to some quite serious behavioral issues if you're not aware of it when you do get a puppy and they're not socialized correctly. Next one is nippy behavior slash herding behavior. Now, Border Collies are great working dogs because they naturally know how to herd different livestock. They might show this behavior just as a natural instinct of theirs by nipping small children, trying to herd them or bicycles or anything that sort of moves fast. Um, they might see this as something that needs to be heard and might try and nip at their feet. See, there's never shown that behavior before, but some Border Collies do. They shed. Don't think that you're gonna get a Border Collie and absolutely never have to brush them, wash them, vacuum up every single day. These guys obviously don't shed as much as say a Newfoundland or something a lot hairier, like a Husky, but they do definitely shed. Like compared to an Italian Greyhound, they definitely shed <laughs> a lot. Yeah, something to be aware of before you get a Border Collie for sure. If you don't have a good vacuum, you need to invest in one. Now Border Collies also need constant entertainment. Now if they don't have constant entertainment, they might rip up your couch, Exhibit A. Cedar actually ripped up this couch when she was a baby and she was bored. Sometimes even if you do leave them like a bone or a Kong, they just might find ripping a couch up a lot more satisfying. Um, or eating shirts. Cedar eats material. Because they're such working breeds, they need to be occupied all of the time. And if you don't occupy them with something that you want them to do, like uh, say a frisbee, a ball, or doing tricks, then they're going to entertain themselves by say like ripping up a couch or eating a shirt or digging lots of holes, things that you don't want them to do. Okay, let me quickly dive into some of the pros about owning a Border Collie. Um, border Collies are so super special and compared to an Italian Greyhound, they differ a lot. First things first is that they are so smart. They are so naturally intelligent. Here's a few tricks that I have taught Cedar along the way. Drop. Here. So this is one of her tricks that I absolutely love. Um, it is super convenient and it's actually really easy to teach. So if you wanted to get a tutorial on how to teach this trick, let me know in the comments and I can organize that. You know, I had a big day at work. I'm just on the couch. I'm just chilling out and I'm like, oh, I really want to change the channel. Don't want to get up. See, they go get the remote. Also, if I'm walking and I drop something, it's really handy for when I need her to pick something up for me if I'm being lazy bitch. So say I'm walking, I'm walking along, I'm riding. Whoops, dropped the pen. Can you please retrieve that for me, Cedar? Thank you. Whoops, dropped it again. Can you please get it again? Whoops, one more time, dropped it. Can you please bring it here? Thank you so much. You're so nice. You're so nice. Sit. Speak. Okay. Hello. Can you spin? Can you turn? Can you spin? Come here. Can you turn? We go down. Not about you. Can you touch your sister? 
That's so nice. Can you give her a cuddle? She doesn't want me to give her a cuddle today. Sprinkle! Give her a cuddle, please, Cedar. Oh, she's itching you. So yeah, they are just a few examples of some tricks that she knows, and there is a few more in the bank that we have, but I just can't think of them right now. But yeah, let's get back to the video. They are so smart, and you can get them to do the coolest things. And they're also, once you learn out how a dog learns, it's really not that hard. What are you doing? <sighs> she's asking really nicely for a bicky, please. Do you want a treaty? Is that what you're asking for? And this is what I mean by dogs are super smart. I mean, I've taught Cedar how to, yeah, you want that one, don't you? How to just ignore food when it's around us. This is a dried chicken tender, um, and I can leave that there and know that she's not going to touch it. I mean, she will touch it, but she's not going to eat it until I say the O word. Oscar. Oklahoma. Oranges. Oranges. Okay. Yeah. Another awesome trait about Border Collies is that not only are they smart, but sometimes Border Collies are naturally really swaggy. They can pick up things so quickly and they want to please. That's another good trait of a Border Collie is that they want to work for you. That's what they were bred to do. And I've found with Cedar that she has a great attention span and she's a lot quicker at picking up tricks than Sprinkle is. <sighs> but she's not as cute as you. Hey, Spring. I mean, see. No, Sprink. Now, another great trait of a Border Collie that I've definitely experienced is the loyalty. Cedar is such a loyal dog. Once they have their people and once they have their owners, they're pretty content with that. Cedar shows me this by when we go to the beach, I can let her off lead. And she's done this since a puppy, actually. Like, we'll just let her off the lead and she'll just wait for us. If we turn around and walk the other way, she'll just follow us. She's always been like that. Um, so she was super easy to train off lead, which is great. But I think that naturally comes down to how loyal she is. Sprinkle, on the other hand... Sprinkle would go find a new family. Sprinkle would say, if anyone has food, I'm gonna go get that new family with them. Uh, another great trait of a Border Collie is that they're super snuggly. Now, not all Border Collies are the same. Cedar is definitely one of those Border Collies. So snuggly, wants to cuddle all the time. But she kind of naturally does it. Like, she naturally wants to be on me. She naturally wants to sleep next to us. Not necessarily on us all of the time, but definitely loves company. But yeah, this is one of the tricks I taught her based off her natural snuggling behavior. Can you give me a cuddle please? Thank you gorgeous girl. Oh you're so nice. One more cuddle for your mum. Oh thank you biggest girl. <laughs> if you have the time to train a border collie and socialize a border collie correctly I think they're great great dogs. Easy to deal with, easy to toilet train, easy to train in general. They're smart, they're cuddly, they're protective, uh, they're loyal. However, if you're not aware, like if you get a Border Collie puppy thinking that they're just gonna raise themselves and they're gonna be one of those dogs that are just an obedient dog, then you're wrong. Yes, they are obedient, but they need to be taught how to be obedient. Don't get a Border Collie expecting them to be smart from the get-go because that's just not how they are. They need to be, they need to be trained how to be smart. Everyone's different, everyone's lifestyle's different, everyone's working arrangements are different. It, the thing I wanna leave with you guys, if you're watching this, still not sure if you want a Border Collie or not, or whether the Border Collie is right for you, just think about how much time you have to train them in the beginning. If you don't have time, can you organize someone else to give them the time that they need while they're a puppy to learn like what behaviors get the rewards and what doesn't because they're gonna try everything. They're working breeds, they need a lot of time, they need a lot of mental enrichment and physical enrichment as well. They need to be exercised a lot because Sprink, I would get another Border Collie in the future just because I know how smart they are, how easy they are to train, how kind they are, how protective they are. So many good things about a Border Collie and the list goes on and on. And I mean, if you have a Border Collie and I've left something out, please comment down below so that people reading this who don't know whether a Border Collie is right for them or not, they can read through the comment section and get a bit more information. Um, I will be doing a video on Italian Greyhounds too because let me tell you, they are bloody chalk and cheese. So stay tuned for the Italian Greyhound personality trait video. But otherwise, let me know if you decided to get a Border Collie. Let me know if you decided not to get a Border Collie from this video. Um, I hope I helped you a little bit and I hope you gained a little bit more information on the Border Collie. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something from this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. Bye.